Do you ever have one of those days when a new Ferrari just won't do? When razzing around in an Aston hasn't got that neck-snapping reaction from passers-by that you really expect? No? Well, me neither. But if you do, then I have found the perfect car, the new Bentley Azure. It's the biggest, brashest, most expensive four-seat luxury convertible currently in production. It's as inconspicuous as fuchsia funeral wear and the length of a small train. It costs £222,000. It has the same amount of wheels as a Fiesta. The steering wheel's in the normal place and on the normal side, and it has uh, lights, as per. So how come this costs as much as my house? This isn't my house, by the way. Well, it does have a 6.75-litre V8 with not one, but two turbochargers. That gives it 450 brake horsepower, which means a top end of nearly 170 miles an hour. But smoking tyres don't really help us find out why the Bentley costs so damn much. Maybe the interior will. To make an interior, first you need 12 of these. Cows. This one's called Daisy. And that little one is called Headrest. You'll also need one of these. It takes two weeks to get the wood ready for the car. The veneers are hand cut to a thickness of just 0.6 of a millimetre, then laid out symmetrically so that the pattern on the left matches the pattern on the right. But you're not just paying for those fancy materials, you're also getting some incredibly skilled labour. Take this steering wheel, for instance. Imagine that this took one guy, one craftsman, 15 hours to stitch all these millimetre-perfect little bits all around the steering wheel. Two carbon fibre crucifixes tie the subframes to each other, meaning that the new Azure is 300% stiffer than the old one, and it really handles for such a big car. But it isn't clever, nor is it groundbreaking. So again, I ask, how come it costs 222 grand? One of the reasons I reckon the Azure is so massively expensive is the fact that the people that are buying it are, you know, they're beyond rich. They just don't care how much money it costs. On average, they've got another eight cars in the garage, and there's already a 12-month waiting list for this very car. So Bentley, I don't know, they could have just charged what they like. People would have still bought it.